Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship, as well as personal growth, especially from the areas of communication success and motivation. Today will be the last two animal horoscopes for those born with the dog as well as the pig within their charts. So why is it that the 2024 forecast, the dog has it ranking the last in the foundation group and the pig has it ranked as the number one animal in the race in 2024? Let's find out more in the next segment. Now before we do that, I would like to also highlight that if you're utilizing my Bazi calculator, bazicalculator.janetyong.com, the link that I'm pointing to here, it is basically based on the solar system where each new year starts on the 3rd or the 4th of February whereas traditionally the animal horoscope basically changes only during Chinese Lunar New Year which is based on the lunar calendar so the Bazi system that I'm utilizing it's actually based on solar system which is similar to that of the Feng Shui system as well hope that clarifies and I'll see you in the next segment where I'll share more. Welcome to this segment where I'll share on what's happening for those born with the dog and the pig within their charts. Now, before we do that, I'll need you to download your Bazi chart from this link, bazicalculator.janetyong.com. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you have already subscribed, have been watching my videos, welcome back and thank you for coming back. Now, before I start, for those who are already very familiar with Ba Zi or have been in my channel and understand that in the Ba Zi chart there can be more than one animal horoscope, please go straight to the video description where I have the timestamp for each of the two different animal horoscopes for those with the dog and the pig within their charts. Now for those who are brand new, you may be familiar with the year animal that you are born. Do you know that the year animal actually only stands for 12.5% of the chart as indicated in this particular slide? Why is this the case? Because just like in Gregorian calendar where there's January, February, March, in the Chinese calendar, the Chinese use Chinese animal horoscopes to depict the different months. So a person can be born in this case from the example here in the year of goat, in the month of tiger, on the day of rooster and the hour of dragon. So a person can have up to four animal horoscopes in their Bazi chart itself. So if you want to understand what's in store for you in the new year, it is crucial then to look at the different horoscopes that are within your Bazi chart. So let me explain what it means by having the different animal signs in the different parts of the Bazi chart. Now, if you have an animal horoscope that you are trying to read the forecast for for 2024, it basically is looking at, in this case, this example is goat. So you'll be looking at 2024 forecast for those born with the goat in their charts in the year. It usually represents the bigger company environment, the bigger industry environment, or the interaction with your boss's boss and your grandparents or your social circle or friends. Now then, if you are actually concerned about career, the animal horoscope sign that you should be looking out for is actually that of the tiger, if you have the tiger in the month in this case, or whatever horoscope sign that appears in the month branch of your Bazi chart. Why is this the case? Because these animal horoscope governs actually your career mindset, what's going to happen in your career, how's your interaction with your immediate superior or your parents, or if there will be changes to it. This is actually the animal sign that we look out for. And then for the day, it's really about your interaction with your spouse, your peers, your colleagues, or your sibling. And from a feelings perspective, it is actually also about how you will feel this particular year. And if you are looking at investment, then the animal horoscope sign that you should be looking at is the one within the hour branch. In this example, is that of the dragon. Because what it tells you is what are the stars that are in store for it, how's your luck for 2024, as well as it will also include your interaction and relationship with your subordinates, people younger than you, and if you are a parent, your children as well. So that's how you actually will read a 2024 Bazi chart. 
Now, let's move on to the next segment where I'll share the last two animal horoscopes, those with the dog and the pig within their charts. What's happening for those born with the dog within their charts in 2024? Why is it rank the last as shown in this particular slide here? And the key reason is because number one, the dog is in direct clash with the year animal sign of the dragon. Therefore, it means that it's the year breaker or in Chinese we call fan tai shui or in direct conflict with tai shui itself. So therefore, when you have a conflict with tai shui in the particular year in terms of your animal sign, expect changes and the only constant will be change and you should basically be not too impulsive or emotional about it but just expect it okay now then if we look at what other issues there can be because of the different types of star the legal and the quarrelsome star there could be some legal issues if you do not handle things carefully or because you meet with obstacles you are careless then things happen and you will be on the wrong side of the law and the other thing that you need to be aware of is depending on where the dog is within your charts you can then have differences with people and then with the quarrelsome star itself it will amplify this particular effect now Will all dogs do terribly in 2024? Not really the case. Usually in a year like this, it's about learning, about lessons. And as I mentioned in another video, I like the phrase, it is usually either a win-win situation or a learning situation. So in 2024, it's likely a learning situation for you. And when you reflect and learn from these lessons, it will build a solid foundation for you when you move towards period 9 itself so that's something that you need to remember let's take a look at what does it mean if you have the dog within the different parts of your master chart if the dog is actually within the year pillar that means you're born in the year of the dog then likelihood there will be a lot of changes in your bigger company environment bigger industry environment or the health of your grandparents may not be that great now if this is the case then if you are looking already towards that change, having the dog in your year pillar or being born in the year of the dog will not have terrible impact. So expect change, continuously learn and basically face your challenges head on. And depending on the rest of the animal signs and the elements within your chart, it will still turn out to be a good year for you. Now, if the dog is actually within the month branch, then likelihood what's going to happen this year is there will be changes to your boss or it could already have happened because that's what a lot of my clients who have the dog within their man branch told me or expect changes this year or you might be thinking about a career change usually because of a push factor so long as you are willing to basically accept this change look for new opportunities I don't think it's an issue from a relationship perspective there might be differences with your superior or your parents now the key is not to react immediately or be impulsive or emotional about the whole situation because if the earth element is actually favorable for you usually by not taking any action the outcome will still be in your favor however from a health perspective do take care of your muscles especially your upper shoulder introduce some form of exercises especially in increasing your flexibility to stay healthy this year if you have the dog within the day then likelihood the differences would be actually with your spouse with your peers with your colleagues or with your siblings like i mentioned earlier on so long as you take a step back, do not react impulsively or emotionally. Every time there's a difference in terms of opinion in a situation, disagreement itself, then usually it will turn out all right in the end, especially if the earth element is favorable for you. The other thing you need to take care of in terms of health, do take care of your digestive system or for women, maybe your woman's health or your middle or abdominal part of your body itself basically when there's too much earth usually these areas will have some issues if you have the dog within the hour generally speaking what you're looking at is actually changes in terms of subordinates or differences with your subordinates or differences of opinion with your children or people younger than you so same thing 
If you are looking at relationship itself, do not be too emotional or impulsive. The hour pillar is actually the investment luck pillar. So this is one year you should lay low, be extremely careful if you really want to take that investment or sign on the dotted line and do spend time in the auspicious sector, which I'll start covering from next week onwards. If you have the dog in your year, month, day or hour, it is crucial in 2024 that you spend time in the auspicious sectors and make sure that you do not not dig or renovate in the Taishui area, in the Three Killings area, which is in the south, as well as the Misfortune 5 Yellow area, which is in the west. I'll cover all these in the 2024 Feng Shui forecast, which will start from next week. And I hope to see you then in my channel. Let's take a look at where the dog is positioned in terms of Animal Horoscope Palace. The dog is within the Northwest Palace itself. So if you are looking at building relationship or going for further studies, then this will be a great year, especially if you spend time in the Northwest sector of your home or your office. Now, what about the pig? Why is it in the best group and number one? in the 2024 animal horoscope race. Let's take a closer look at the stars within their chart. Usually any animal that has the emperor star within their chart will also have the dragon virtue. These two star combinations basically represents opportunities for achievement, helpful people coming along to aid you, as well as the ability to lead and to be able to solve other people's problems with the emperor and the dragon virtue star. There was a comment in my YouTube channel page about solving other people's problems. Why don't we solve our own problems? I'll address that when I talk about the pick within the different parts of our Barter chart in the next slide. Now, the other thing that is great going for the pick is actually the Red Matchmaker Star. The Red Matchmaker Star is basically about happiness. Or if you're single, this will be a year where you'll be able to find that special someone. If you are already within a relationship, it will generally be either taking a step further in terms of commitment or if you're already a married couple, then generally it's your relationship enhancing even further. So that's why the pick ranks number one. Of course, there's also the inauspicious stars. What are these inauspicious stars? The frustration star and the calamity star. Now, the frustration star generally comes about basically because if you're in a leadership position or you're trying to solve other people's problems, there will be challenges and obstacles. And all you need to do is basically stay calm, relax, spend time in the auspicious sector of 2024, face these challenges head on, you should be all right. Now with the calamity star within your chart, then I think it's crucial to watch where you're going and not go to disaster prone areas in the year 2024. As I mentioned earlier on, let's take a look at what happens if you have the peak within the year. The peak within the year generally means that your company environment, your industry environment will be in a leadership position and therefore be able to solve the consumer or people's needs in the industry that they serve. So addressing the question about why solve other people's problem and not your own problem. We must all remember we are paid to solve either the company's problem if you are an employee or if you are in your own business then it's actually providing the solution to solve other people's needs or problems. So if you do not start with solving other people's problems, you will not earn enough to solve your own problem, especially from a financial perspective. So when you have the stars aiding you in terms of solving other people's problems, your capability is greatly enhanced and therefore it is crucial to not just focus on yourself but take a step back, look at the bigger picture because the more we give, especially in period 9, the more you will receive. So if you are in a role in your company or in your industry that is leading in terms of helping other people solve their problems, money will flow into your pockets. Now, then if you are looking at the peak in your month itself, then congratulations from a career perspective. Definitely your role will be in a position to be in leadership as well as have the capability in solving 
the company's problems, if you are addressing an internal group of customers or outside in terms of your clientele, if you are in a frontline facing role. Of course, with the great power, it comes with great responsibility and then there will also be frustration and obstacles. Just make sure that you face it head on and you shouldn't have too much of an issue. Now, if you have the pick within the day, then it will be either your spouse, your partner or your colleague that is having this great luck or in a leadership position, then it is crucial for you then for this year to ensure that you support them so that you are able to harness the benefit that they enjoy as well. And of course, from a negative star perspective, because of the frustration star, just watch your temper and make sure that your health is all right. And also the other thing would be not to travel to basically disaster prone places like I mentioned earlier on. And if you have the peak within the hour, it is then your action in terms of helping other people where then you will receive even greater benefit before, or it will be an excellent year if you are in a leadership role to then basically teach your subordinates, your children, people younger than you, how to fish rather than actually handing out the fish or the silver spoon to them. So this basically covers about the peak within each different part of the parts of chart. Let's take a look at where is the pig position in the animal horoscope palace. It is positioned in the northwest, which has the romance and study star in 2024. And it is excellent for those who are looking at enhancing relationship, whether you are single looking for that someone special or an existing relationship and making sure that you want to take a step forward. Spend time in the Northwest to harness the maximum benefit, especially when you have the rich matchmaker star in your charts as well. And this comes to the end of the entire 2024 Animal Horoscope forecast series. I hope you have really enjoyed what I've shared. I look forward to seeing you next week where I'll share about how after understanding the stars within your chart, should you maximize by spending time at the right location. So we are talking about right time if you have auspicious stars and right place in order to maximize your success and opportunities in the year 2024. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.